Taking away that mid tower is a really good way of taking control over angels, right? And when you have a greedy lineup that has TA, Doom, Morphling, you really want control of angels. That's how the TA is actually going to be keeping in this game in the first place, especially if she loses her lane. Which is why I think this TA pick is susceptible. Like, because yeah. they, they knew what they were picking it into here. It was a counter pick mid with double roam. I mean, that is a ballsy TA pick. I hope GPK plays these early waves well, because it might be the only waves he sees. And that is fully what I expect to come out here. It's also put some pressure on Bet Boom to execute the side lanes pretty damn well, to maybe keep the nine panda supports on the waves for the, most of the early game. If yeah. that happens, they're going to be really happy because then GBK gets a one on one. And I don't see Sniper bullying him that hard in the one on one. Like, Sniper probably wins this lane, but I think you can get out of it. And if your tower's still up and you can go jungle, then you don't care. Because you were going to get counterpicked by something as Templar Assassin anyway. Like, the way I see it is would you rather play versus Sniper's tier or would you rather play, like, versus Viper or Husker or something? Probably Sniper. Gonna run down solo here. Either way, they did get the uh, boundary runes, so no harm, no foul. Got a 2-2 split. But Rams is in the offlane, so they're going to mana burn Toronto Tokyo down here a little bit to start off this wave as the Bet Boom cores swap the lanes because they do not want the morph lane versus the AM. Almost killed him. Yeah. Jeez, they got him. Wow. Ah, Atari gets the first blood. Okay. Um, that was a very surprising kill, but yeah. Wait, so how... Why is the Morphling AM lane matchup that bad? Particularly in the safe lane, I thought it would have been okay. I don't know if it's actually that bad. Maybe they rather just have the Morph versus the Beast. Like, they don't want this to be first the Beast. That sounds like the Beast is going to Omega free farm. I don't know. I, I guess Morphling can just get his Mana Guard and then your trade is pretty bad, but I think you can also just sit there and CS. Either way, Bet Boom wanted these core matchups because they forced the trade. Yeah. And maybe Pure just wants to play safe. Huh? Yeah. Give me back my old lane. It's like, I'm the carry, bro. Feeling a little nostalgic. Either way, this lane has done a lot of work for Nine Pandas early. Because they have basically won every trade and they're versus a double melee lane with AM. I think AM wins almost any melee to melee matchup if it's not a pass and base hero. That's how I feel about him, at least. Which I think is only like Legion Axe, Slardar. No one's playing Slaughter. So I think Graves should have a really good time down here. They're yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That he with the level two. This is a lot of resources committed for Bet Boom. That they're not getting anything out. Yeah, if they pull this creep wave back and hold it there, then this is gonna feel real bad rotating like this. And they're trying to free up this two minute small camp, which they will get. But this is three heroes sapping XP from a Doom. And you're morphling solo in the offlane. A very awkward early laning phase for Bet Boom. Not what they were looking for. And Kiyotaka is winning mid. At least a little bit in the regen department. But it is bottle for GPK and Sniper does really not buy one, I think. So he will get resource back up. Another reason why I think this Sniper TA matchup is it's kind of funky nowadays. If you don't start roaming on him and getting the kills, he kind of just takes water runes with the extra bottle. And, like, shrapnel is not that good. Kiyotaka hasn't shrapnel? even skilled it. Yeah, yeah. Zero, two, one. This build, I think you definitely do not BTA. Okay. Man, curious. I really thought, uh, especially with what you're talking about, a more skirmishing style sniper. I kind of agree with that aspect. I mean, you want something that actually plays the game at 20 minutes. I think you definitely want something that just made GPKs like hell. But I, I just see him free farming here. And the side lane's getting weird. Maybe that's good for Bet Boom in a way, but three-man game coming down towards bottom, and... Oh my god, he got him with the lightning! Sometimes you just get a instant army spawn off the single small game. Well, this lane just became a whole lot different. Got the stun connection too. Oh. Yeah, Antares almost dies to lightning once again, but now it's going to be Pure who slowed down by the boars. And this creep is so disgusting. It really is. Why is this in the game? I mean, I know why it's in the game. Why is it in the game? Actually, I don't. Why is this in the game? <laughs> why is it one wait, four? wait a minute. How often do you say that? How often do you say, well, I know what it is, but you don't actually know what it is? I mean, it's literally in the game for Doom and Chen.
mainly Chen, right? Because Chen's lightning is pretty bad if he doesn't have some early small creeps to really skew the, or like force you to have to deal with the small camp. Yeah. Because you need that as a pressure point to play the lane. It's not necessarily about getting the creep. But it does pay off in very weird ways for these heroes that just have higher mana regen and lane capability. Like, definitely a little over too. As the, the try lane for Bet Boom no. continues, they're going to send the Doom back top. This is a very awkward lane stage. I don't really know who it benefits. No one had to say 2 when he mid, but it's going pretty even as well. Blast off land and gets the kill. Save will likely die for it, but a worthy trade off. Support for core. That boom could be uh, quite happy with that. It's the game of uh, musical portals continues. And Pure already has arcane boots up. No, oh, no. This is this is some harpy chain spam coming to you soon. At least the Antimage can burn his mana, I guess. And they're gonna TP save back top again. So the. Musical chairs continue here as the dual roam for Bet Boom. We'll find another kill. I mean, this is paying off for him. Yeah, it certainly is. Ramses tries to get involved, but he can't really save his support. He can't stand toe to toe against three heroes. And he eats the Wildekin. That's just BM. He didn't replace his lightning, though, did he? No, surely not. Are you serious, bro? I just had Are you to serious? Ask. You think a player. As good as Pure is gonna replace Chain Lightning with Hurricane at five minutes in the game. I mean, you that's sounded why you don't so replace it, okay? Learn your damn lessons. You sounded very distraught, that's why. But I guess you just really care about those neutral creeps. I do. Someone has to fight for them. Who stands for the neutral creeps in the other world? Nobody. Uh, Enchantress, maybe? Actually, yeah, he actually she does, yeah. And Solo puts his Centaur to use. Oh, Arcane, Arcane Rune, that's going to be denied by save. His GPK actually went for it. This is a weird chase down there. He is out of refraction. They've got a lot of damage over time deals between Shrapnel plus the Blood Grenade. That was fascinating. As you don't take it too early here, but it might have Radiance paid off. Tower Single point Shrapnel, attack. also not enough slow to really just stick on the kill. And this was kind of your first pseudo roam to mid by nine pandas that didn't yield a lot they're gonna stick around here with the three heroes they have catapult wave up this is your early pressure point you really need to make the most of this this should be a tier one for nine pandas if you execute it well because i don't think that boom can respond too easily unless they're willing Sorry, to you're trying way too hard to make this a yeah thing. this this is way too deep and this is throwing your your trialing mid away like this was your window yeah, now you just bring the supports in when you're fighting behind the tier one tower, and you might just be able to collect two support kills for it as Solo is going to be body blocked by save time and time again, and that'll net them another kill. GPK, he's feeling very good about his lane, I think. Yes, that is an absolute disaster for nine minutes. I think that is the one point in this game that is super important for you to hit. You're still going to get a Wisdom Rune trade, but... That just feels really bad. You did not get the punish on this TA you were looking for with that last pick from the roam. You got decent tower damage, but I think that was going to happen no matter what. And you just sacrificed two supports. I mean, the levels on Bep Boom right now, they're feeling really good about it. This dual roam through the two side lanes really worked out for their supports as they're both decently rich and decently high level. And once again, save. This guy just, just makes the early games work. And there are 1v1s on the sidelines that are left over when the supports are gone. Probably feel pretty good. Because Fear is just using his arcane boots and then zapping him. And then when he's out of mana, you can just right click him and out win that fight too. Nice blast off land. Save on a killing spree. Yeah, this is the issue with AM in this meta. Like, there's so much gate action, there's so many heroes that can just get on top of you in the early game that it's very rare you see the anti mage ahead of everybody else, which is kind of where the hero needs to be. He doesn't sure. function that well from behind in almost any of these carry matchups. Nine Pan is in trouble here. There's no way around it. This early game needed to go better for them. They're going to go defuse on the Kiyotaka Sniper and try and scale into some early skirmish damage, but got to get something going. I mean, he's 0 0 0. How often do we say that at almost 10 minutes? Yeah, and what is this gank going to be exactly? Their supports do not nothing. have the best initiating stuns. Another reason they needed to be ahead. Because when you're ahead on these slow base supports, you can evade the enemy areas aggressively and be in better position to land the slow. Whereas from like these random smoke here. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. They're gonna roar. Nightfall bottom a little early though. 
Yeah. Silence him now. They might have just caught him a little bit off guard. The Mana Void finished him off. Wow. That okay. worked a lot easier than I thought it would, but it did. I guess that is the Antimage Warfling matchup with the pop. Because we're going to try and return the favor to mid and uh, solo. Still having a rough one as the Jew takes out. Yeah, Yotaka. You're just fighting that solo. God damn, that hard creep. Done some work. It really, really has. Bottom line, still going for the dime. Toronto Tokyo will fall. They're bringing resources, though, to try and hold their tower. This is a dangerous move. If they fail to do this, this is a pretty heavy rotation that uh, leaves them with no ground to farm. But it does look like they're going to be able to hold the tower for now. It's just such a slow game for this last big sniper. Really slow. He did not get any of the tempo that I think he wanted to. That Doom Soul kills. That's just going to get pure Midas off of that. It's pretty much done here. By the way, he got five Chain Lightnings off for that Sniper kill. Just for the record, he got five for a total of 400 damage, damage or that cooldown. One yeah, of four second cooldown? He's dead again? They do have gap close on Sniper. This matchup has not worked out at all. No. And the problem with the last pick Sniper here is if the early game doesn't work out, yeah, the gap closes there. Like, what are you doing in this game? First TA traps, the charge, the techies jump, the morphling waypoint in. I actually think the uh, the flashbang, whatever it's called, concussive grenade. Flashbang. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't call it. Well, honestly, this, this is a Counter Strike too. Yeah. The uh, concussive grenade I think is super important for the sniper. Right, stops the charge, can help against the TA when he blinks on you. But you're not going to be in a point, like, unless you're going to use... When you're behind, buying your shard feels terrible. I just think at this point, this lineup, the greed is going to really punish them. Yeah, I think so, too. They need farm on the AM and the Beast. And now you need it on all three cores. It's just going to be a feeding frenzy on the map for Pep Boom. This Midas from Pure is going to go untouched. At some point, Nightfall and GPK are, are going to start doing some neutrals, doing some Ancients. They're already pretty high level, and you lost your tier 1 mid on nine panda side before you took that boom. That is not an outcome I was expecting in this game. And it'll be fast blink for GPK, so he's not even going that greedy of a TA build here. He can get involved in these early fights. It's a good TA game from a skirmish standpoint. Well, once more try and defend their safe lane tower, at least look for the deny and all the Are they going to get punished for it? Primal Roar doesn't go off. Gets away far away. Toronto Tokyo charges back in on them, and all the heroes from Bet Boom are here. Gotta be careful of these chain lightnings. Looks like the call has been made. GPK wants to farm mid, so they'll give way to nine pandas, and nine pandas with their full five will take this area. They're still lurking around. I mean, they're gonna be happy to recommit on this observer. They get the charge off before the smoke, so. Smoke is just gone off this two-man attempted to play, I guess, but they don't even find Toronto. Oh, no, they can't even finish him off. Did the Dale just save him? I don't know about that, but it was close. It was very close. And Taris is going to get hit by Blast Off, so that's probably going to be another kill. He's a little fast, but boy, he loses a lot of HP on any hit when he gets uh, when he gets this Solar Crested, Medallion. You already have no armor as Skyrath Mage. Another chain lightning, by the way, just <laughs> just for the chain lightning counter. Because I know that's what we're all looking for here. You can look at the damage dealt. What was that, 20 HP? That I just don't think Erda was Dale, like, heals you that fast. 10 health regen? I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. that was two seconds of Mystic Flare, right? All right, we'll give it to him. Yeah. We'll give it to him. Nice Virtus the other. I mean, it's clap, clap for Toronto. Seeds of Serenity saved him because it's bonus HP. True. That's also true. That's Which, being like ahead, all. usually means you get your neutral items for everybody. That's, that's very true. This item's not too bad. I think it kind of gets forgotten about it. Yeah, it was definitely. It, I think it's underrated now after they bought You know what? Neutral items underrated for sure is Shovel. Radiant because of Cobalt. Shovel is actually. It's like Philosopher's Stone level. 
solo. He's gonna get bursted here, maybe? No, the mines aren't quite enough damage. It's Toronto Tokyo who dies instead. Bad Boom trying a little bit too hard to get into that uh, Wister Moon territory. Anyway, back to the shovel ran. Yeah, uh, very important. But it's not as good as Philosopher's Stone, but it ends up being almost comparable in terms of the effective net worth you dig out of it. Because the, you can get both Bounty Rune and the Cobalt. You get the Bounty Rune and the Cobalt. Salve is effective net worth, right? And then, what is the last one? Mango? Also effective net worth. Yeah. And it's every 40 seconds. I, there were some games I was watching where Game and Gladiators had two shovels on both their supports. And they were just digging for like the first 15 minutes. And I feel like if you just keep digging up extra bounty roots, it's a lot of extra gold for the team, right? Yeah, it sounds good to me. I actually think that item is pretty underrated and it gives you some HP. So. Yeah, it gives you 100 health, right? Something like that. What is exactly oh, that? I think it used to be more. I think it used to be like 50, 75. 75, yeah. But well, 40 seconds cool down. Down. Yeah, 40 seconds cooldown is pretty damn good on that. It's it's just uh, not fair. The chain lightning will claim another victim here. All right, you're definitely going to have to look at the chain lightning damage dealt at the end of the I, game. I am 100% looking at it. It's already like 2k or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. I feel like I'm watching Star Wars. <laughs> Does that make pure the Emperor? That's right. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> that is the harpy. That's creep, what he actually. said when he found the yeah. harpy. <laughs> that is literally the harpy creeps manifesto, or whatever you want to call it. Eat me. I will give you unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cobalt just to give in to your hate. I mean, pure. He seems like a good, hateful player, you know. You think so? I don't know. Every single time I, I, I see him around, he looks he looks kind of wholesome. Yeah, but I'm telling you, there's like a glint in his eye, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, the glint. Of course, everybody knows about the glint. I think all I think every Eastern European player has a, a little spike. It's like a, a little <laughs> chip on the shoulder. I gotta, like, prove the world. Yeah. I'm, like, the best, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like those interviews we had with Nightfall where he's just... There was an interview where PSJ was asking him, you know, oh, how do you know which fight to go to? He's like, because I know which is right, basically. Like, that was his answer. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. well, I don't go if it's the wrong decision to make. And it's like, yeah, but how do you know which is the right one? Well, be because I make it, and I, therefore it's right. <laughs> that is like a European Dota player, I'd say, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, I think, well, historically, why a lot of the teams have tended to disband, because when those types of personalities clash, I mean, only one person can be right. Sure, sure. So maybe that's a sign of growth for the region, then, you know? So these guys are just putting their egos aside through the wins and the losses. Yeah. And they're willing to say, you know what? I still think you're wrong, but I'm willing to play on a team with you. That's emotional growth. That is emotional growth. Radiance middle tower is under might, might help that we just have a fresh new round of Dyer's players bottom tower is in Eastern Europe. Where, where we were... Aren't scarred by... We were kind of... Yeah, we were recycling the same old crusty... Just real crusty Dota players. You're talking about North America? Or talking about? <laughs> uh, well, that that is the problem. North America has no new Dota players, so we're just kind of stuck. Wow. North America has Dota players. Yeah, that, that's true. Not anymore. Not in the DPC, anyway. Scan will hit on Ramses. Can they find him off of it? Do they want to find him off? Of, of course, they want to find him off. Of it. And man, Breaker is just so good. To say. Yeah, the Breaker feels really good right now, I think, just in general, but against AM, great Ready. matchup, Solo does get the tower kill. I was surprised this hero was not first phased at Dream League too much. He's getting back to first phase priority here a little bit. Yeah. I still think this hero just, he looks great in every game we watch. I don't think I've ever watched the Spearberg game where I'm like, wow, this team is really suffering because they have Spearberg. Yeah, I would mostly agree with that. I feel like I've maybe seen one or two games where I was like, oof, the Spirit Breaker is just feeding. There's nothing else he can do. Till you take that back. It always looks good when Toronto kills this one. This is probably one of his best heroes right now, for sure. Yeah. He has condensed his hero. That, that is also for sure. I think that's the, that's like the step that everybody goes when they adopt a new role they like i feel like they start with like i'm playing like 10 different heroes in this role and then you find out like no 10 different heroes doesn't actually work for them it's 
<laughs> and then they condense it down to like three or four, and then they slowly expand again. I mean, Hero Pool just comes with like your innate comfortability with having played this hero a bunch in pubs and understanding what you want to do with it and adjusting that feel on the fly in a tournament. That's why the most veteran players can bust out some of those random picks that they work but Like, I would not expect the same from Sanzo if he was changed to five and probably doesn't even know that these heroes existed in Dota. He's like, what the hell is a Shadow Shot? Dave is going to get the jump in. Dude, they hit the ball. Massive. What the hell? They did nothing to defend themselves against it. Just took it. Nine pandas just all in, blind as a bat, into the cave. How does Save just keep jumping blind and it looks great every time? How does Nine pandas just do that? Uh, to be honest, I, I've they never were... seen a team do that in the last, like, two or three years. I mean, they were being sneaky. Were they? Yeah. You're they're like, playing against a TA. I mean, you're like, what's the worst that can happen, guys? <laughs> <laughs> the worst that can happen is a rampage. Which, that was, I suppose, didn't happen. Just a triple kill. Yeah, that was, that was demolishing, and it doesn't get much better as a Doom lands off the host on here, and the charge connects. I love the sound of that guitar. Good sound effect. I like the pure to not go the super good in this game. Because he's still mega farmed, but not only is he mega farmed, he's killing heroes on the map. 5 0 and 3 with Midas BKB Blink. Yeah, it's BKB bomb. is nice. This is like way more active, way more involved, and he has two greedy carries, so this makes more sense. Well, Kay Lee at 20 minutes for Bet Boom, and they are cruising through this game off of a very struggle of an early game for Nine Pandas that yielded nothing. Cannot outlane Bet Boom, it would appear, and Nine Pandas are paying the price as they have to try and wrap this game with a sneaky Roche that backfired, and Save is still looking for the jumps, looking for the rune. Oh my God. Or goes out. Trying to blow up the techies, they do manage to get that kill. Nero having a hard time, the drums trying to keep him alive, not quite good enough, but the aim is in good position to take over part of this fight, but unfortunately the TA with the Spirit Breaker just too much. The control is there, and the physical damage is there. Kiyotaka will be here to force Bet Boom back, but... He's got pretty good positioning in this fight, he's doing a lot. Yeah, but is he doing oh, enough to get a to yell at here? Alright, at least they got Toronto Tokyo, but... The cores do get away on the side of Bed Boom. And he did get the concussive grenade. He actually bought it for himself. Yeah, he shot himself in. That's not too bad of a showing there. I mean, I, I really saw him position. desperately trying to shoot himself out of the pit earlier. <laughs> I mean, when you get this type of fight from Nine Panas, where the sniper's in the back and all the gap close is used preemptively instead of on him, you have to respect the damage here. Now at your point, you're just overextended. Doom falls in the exchange. This is just a really nice position fight from Nine Pandas. A little bit of an overextension from Bet Boom, but they definitely were feeling themselves in this game and feeling strong, so you can't really blame them there. Yeah. I feel like that's also just a difficult fight for the TA to have high impact in, especially with Aegis, because you don't want to go in super deep with the Aegis die and then just instantly die a second time around to the sniper. This matchup is still pretty decent in-game for Sniper, even though the early game did not go Kiyotaka's way. If you find yourself with a proper gap set, very happy. Oh! Not that time, son. Yeah. Pure. Good thing he didn't let it go. He would just would have uh, doomed himself, but is closing in on Octarine. As soon as you get Octarine, Minus can help you get to 20, and then you're just going to have Doom every single fight. Save has just been jumping on kids. Yeah, his techies is popping off this game. Save techies. We're on to Tokyo Spear Breaker. They're definitely finding the supports that are working for him. Ooh, damn, that wasn't the blink he wanted to go for. Burn him out of mana. Oh, he tried to use the mana void for the extra bit of stun time to burn out the rest of that mana and prevent the waveform, but it did not work. And the charge coming through will cancel it. And I think you are gone, hero. Yeah. That's that Axe Morphling being up. This is a pretty good timing for Bet Boom to continue to take the skirmishes in the fight, especially with this like, really aggressive build for PBK. Like Link and Hurricane Pike with Crystalis and this Orb of Destruction on top. Shard is well for extra silence. Sure, why didn't you bite this man? Oh, that charge though. Woo! The charge is through three heroes and kills the fourth. 
I don't know. Pure has bite is probably bad. Every time we cast this guy. Like, you gotta go down. Sometimes you gotta go down for your items. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think he would rather be alive and use his minus nah, 30. I, I, I 100% bite is before I TP out there. <laughs> it's It not only sends a message and you get the gold, uh -huh. but it sends a message. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're sending two messages. It's the price of one. <laughs> You know, nowadays you don't have to pay by the text, Avery. It's unlimited. Yeah, but sometimes a handwritten letter means a lot to somebody. Yeah, you want to do another handwritten letter? Here, nine. I believe you are washed. Sincerely. Radiant scanning. Okay, that's the first message. What what would the second message be? Probably just that photocopy. Just send it again. <laughs> Just to make sure you really got it. Because then that's a meta message, right? Mm. It's like, I, I didn't even think you were worth the time to write a second one. <laughs> so I'm just going to resend the first. Yeah. Crimson up for Miro and closing in on that. And Ramses was just about to go through the portal, decided against it. And that's unfortunately, that vision will yeah. get him killed. That is a lot of deaths for an AM. Toronto Tokyo has just had his number, man. He has a full Shadow Blade on the Spear Breaker. I don't know how you play the map as Am. You don't. Well, you die a lot. That's that's why. And you hope that Kiyotaka Sniper is going to carry you instead, I guess? I just don't know if this is a game Sniper carries. I mean, you can play for high ground defense here. Six slotted Sniper is pretty annoying for Bethune, but I don't know if it's the end-all deal when you have some gap close. And, you know, if you ever get nags on him, you're removing a lot of his damage. Plus, there's Doom. Doom is... Doom is Doom. Yeah, Doom is Doom. You just need Lincolns on this anti mage. You needed it 10 minutes ago, but he's closing in on it now. He's a thousand off. I mean, the Lincolns will help, don't get me wrong, but even once he has the Lincolns, he still has to deal with TA traps that sound. Right? So. Dyer are scanning. It's tough. It's a very tough anti mage team. I mean, it's a first phase AM. That's why these first phase AMs run into a lot of trouble. You don't execute the early game well, you end up in these positions where you reverse a lot of counter picks, reverse some catch, reverse some AoE Doom that's coming down the pipeline, and another charge on Ramsey's off a of trap vision. That's the super annoying part. He's getting charged and stunned off traps. He can't even see them. He will live, though. Now he's made to get away. The Prattle Roar Ooh. with the illusion. So, hitting on oh. the DA. That's actually really good. Now, it does mean the AM has committed his life for it, but well worth it. Getting two kills off of that one. It might get pure, too. I think yeah, they're going to chase him down. Keep the vision on him. Let the assassination save. Thinking and about not whether or not he can do this. Drum. Oh, save. Nightfall, you're in the wrong neighborhood, yeah, son. Yeah, I don't know why they tried to do this one. Nightfall is going to get bursted down. Triple kill for Mural. Ah, why did they go back in like that? I have no Zave, idea. Dave knew that was not a fight. He was standing around going, I don't think this is good. And Nightfall said, uh, screw you, I'm going anyway. I mean, what have I told you about Save? He knew it was the wrong fight. If Save thinks it's bad, he does not go in. He just <laughs> leaves your ass and says, you should think about the decision you made. Yeah. This guy never goes in off a bad call. And that was definitely a bad call. Nice turnaround here from Nine Pandas. Finally in a position where they can help the AM off one of these charges and turn it around off that big mana void. Definitely doing some work. And then you can just run these heroes down. Pure cannot dodge the AoE drum. I don't even know what Nightfall was trying to do here. Like, maybe he thinks he can just get in and burst the Skywrath. Yeah, but then... then yeah, then you're just versus a bunch of range heroes with a sniper pew pew you from the tree line. This sniper is, it's been a problem in the fights, honestly. It's looked a lot better than I expected. That boom has not started the engagements on top of him, and it's giving Kiyotaka free reign. He's getting up there, man, and he is going some damage here. MKB, third item. That is going to deal with that butterfly that we saw come out third here for Nightfall. It's a big purchase. This is a big window for Nine Pandas to hit. They get the Lincolns on Ramses. Halberd done for Miro and MKB gonna be finished here. Three big items coming in for Nine Pandas to help them deal with the double range cores from that boom. You gotta be thinking about this sniper now. I actually think Nine Pandas will win a fight where Kiyotaka has free reign. I don't think you're just gonna roll this game over anymore, despite having an 11k gold lead. A lot of that is on your supports too. So you need to take these engage these fights in a way where the, the two supports from Pet Boom can actually help your cores win those man fights. 
Well, one thing that might help, they got the shard for Tron to Tokyo, oh, so Ramsey. we might see a place where Ramsey's... Oh, Ramsey's... He gets off the spell shield, but it's not gonna last for long. Not against that Minotaur stun. The confidence that they're gonna chain it up. Yeah. And now they're just mass retreating from the pit. Bed boom, they're gonna pursue. Especially with the Morphling being able to turn into the AM like that. Oh, never mind. Made the call to go back and just do Roshan. Why not? They are correct that Roshan is about to be back up. There it is. Ramsey's reading this game, it's a little off. You can tell. I mean, some of that is like, it's a very hard game to read with them. And you kind of have to push it aggressively because if you stop pushing the waves, your map just collapses. But this is like five heroes off the map. Is this a wave you can take? Definitely not, as we saw. That'll be cheese and ages for that boom here. Decent position to go high ground if they want to try and force it. They have Silver Edge on GPK. Some extra break potential, some extra gap close potential if you can Silver Edge in and jump the sniper. But he does have Hurricane Pike and that grenade and MKB finish, so the high ground defense is pretty damn strong here for Nine Pandas. This is a difficult sniper to jump unless you get the tube on top of him, which would be really nice. There's a charge on top of him. That will not go through as they scout the high ground ward. So do you go high ground or do you farm the third Roshan? That is a big question that we have to answer right now. I think you definitely go high ground because of the six slotted sniper potential for high ground. I don't, I don't think you want to risk letting this game go late and letting it get, get weird like that. I just don't think you can siege the high ground without jumping the sniper. Which is yeah. also pretty hard. If you don't know if he has buyback or not, like then you might be giving a really good fight to the beast in the AM. I am committing to the sniper. You definitely want to catch. It would be a lot nicer for Beppin to catch them on the map first. But now the the rat is becoming a bit better for Nine Pandas as they killed off some of these traps and Ramsey's has that Lincoln's. It's not getting caught as easily anymore, which is a good sign for him. I really feel like you're uh, jinxing him, but... I really do not believe that Ramsey's is going to die again. <laughs> I mean, it's been like literally two minutes since we saw Ramsey's get picked off. Just found Kiyotaka. I, I feel like uh, you definitely jinxed Nine Pandas somehow. Kiyotaka, four staff, four staff, TP out. They will not blindly go up the hill. Pure tries to chase after him, but uh, unfortunately, the big kill that they wanted is already gone. They'll collect on solo. Nice to have. We're gonna TV back in here from Nine Pandas. Maybe try and turn the fight off of a roar sky. Oh, that is not enough. It is enough. That yeah, that final nuke does manage to get it. He's gonna buy back. Oh, just... look at that! Hurricane Pike pushes save away right as he was about to land on the blast off. A buyback charge on to Kiyotaka's bet boom back away to the high ground here. He just got a gem off that from Toronto and the buyback. They went back in. Fight. BKB goes off. They use the Doom. That's going to be Kiyotaka. Then oh, it is. Toronto the Tokyo does had it. that charge going the entire time. Now the BKB is wearing out, though. GPK trying to keep this AM at bay. It looks like the physical damage is enough to scare him away. Trying too hard to run up into that high ground where Ben Boom had a full defense ready to go. Ramsey's have you overextended. He barely gets out. Ooh. Close call. I mean, this buyback from Toronto Tokyo is definitely paying off. Nightfall is just... Oh, nice use of the Spell Shield. Got the, miss, the silence back out onto uh, Antares and Game Dead. Actually got a buyback here. Ramsey's still trying to play it out, though, with the Illusions. Nightfall chasing after him. Blinks forward, waveforms out. Where did the AM go? They've lost track of him. Oh, oh, oh. Now, but there's too many heroes. Charge on through for the war. Bounce them away. They're both on the TA with the TA dead. Maybe the M can win this fight. Here's going to go for him, though. Ramses forced to blink away. Meanwhile, the Morphling out of mana. Nightfall's a little bit struggling here, but so is Ramses. They're going to connect together. Ramses is going to go for him. And the Mana Void back up. Pops the Morphling. A save back in. He, he has something else to say. Yeah, Pure goes back in for two. But the Manta Dodge gets rid of the Centaur stun, which might have claimed the life. Of the anti back. Yes. Now he has to TP away. The That's BKB not, does last long enough. Uh, do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Kiyotako is very happy watching his team win that fight without him, though. They're going to clean up save again. 
Yeah, uh, if that is a disarm on Rance, he's close, but fortunately, magic damage is his forte. I mean, remember, that's the second death for Satan. He died at the start of that fight by Tier 2. Did Toronto, Rance and Tokyo do the same? Yes, that was yeah. a buyback from Toronto, Tokyo. So that's like, that's six for the price of not too much. I mean, you lost your Sniper and Enchantress, but it is a dieback for Skyrath Mage as well. Still nine pans. They get another decent position fight where you're going in that Hurricane Pike was sick. That and was then sick play. That was a two-man stun. Are you gap-closing Kiyotaka at this point? No. And that is a good setup for nine pandas, especially when Ramsey... Well, you are at this point when they walk up the high ground. Yeah, this is a bit of an overextension. If you have Roar, I think you can make this play, but when you don't know where the Doom is and you don't have buyback on Sniper, that is way too aggressive. Still, overall decent fight. It's not like you lost too much here. Oh, back into the game. Kiyotaka dies again, picked off by Pure. That's that Doom cooldown. Yeah, that's going to be the as a refresher, too. You need some survivability versus the Doom. This is the biggest problem for Kiyotaka. It's not the two other cores getting on top because he has the grenade, he has the hurricane fight. It is the Doom. It is pure with the big blade and the refresher. Two Dooms on an 80 second cooldown, plus that shard for some extra stun. Centaur stomp to chain it up. And what's he even want next year? Strength blink, I guess? Arcane blink? That is a spirit breaker that is going to be extremely disruptive in the fight. He has planar pocket too. He's he's jacked. Oh yeah, if he redirects. He can redirect mana boy. Yeah, that's true. Or roar. Both of them very important spells for nine minutes in all these fights. Even the silence could be uh good to grab. Dyer's I mean that last fight, GPK just died to Roar Skyle. That was 99%. It was like 1 a.m. hit, but they've been syncing up these ults pretty well, and Bet Boom haven't been able to get the four stabs off to save from that ult combination here. They only have the pike on GPK and single four staff on save, and save. His positioning is tough because the anti mage can jump him and, and make it weird. And defusal for Ramses, a late defusal here on the AM. Just looking for even more mana burn and chase down. Hmm. Pretty interesting. I mean, yeah, it feels like you're going to slot out of that because he's going Yags. He wants to throw these shards in. Oh, okay. And just burn everybody's mana out and create a situation where the poke between his illusions and the sniper becomes way too much for Bet Boom to deal with. I kind of like it. It also, uh, like, help him keep away from the Morphling? Or actually, can the Morphling yeah. just uh, morph on the illusion that he throws? I think he can. I think he can morph off any of them. No. But it'll still proc the Lincolns. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. So, Rams, in theory, doesn't care. You can also throw all of these at once onto like a roar target. It's a decent amount of burst without committing your own hero. Yeah. It's pretty. It's a pretty interesting item build here, honestly. Like, very interesting. I think most AM players in this slot would probably go like... something around the, you know, Butterfly, Scotty... Abyssal territory. I mean, their poke is very strong, but I feel like uh, their poke is already good. But now it's even better. Okay, there, there's a the poke. My problem is, is that Bet Boom, the way they would win a fight before against this sniper, is jumping in and committing in the first game. And I feel like, well, that's just now the same story. Now it's even more effective if this AM is going to go in Axe Bell. I do think the shark can help start the fight better for you on 9 Pinazo by like throwing these shards on the Doom, for example. And then Kiyotaka knows he can't get Blink Doom on. Sure. That's the best case scenario that I can see. However, as we saw there, I mean, Pure has just had Kiyotaka's number the last four or five kills. Just doomed him off cooldown, basically. Which is not a long cooldown, with Spell Prism now on top of everything else. He's going to look towards the Shivas. Interesting idea. I do think you want Ags at some point in this game. But Shiva's is not too bad here either. I guess you can just get it all. Yeah, it is curious he's not going Ags. These AM right clicks hurt. Got a mana break on a defusal burn plus a mind breaker. <laughs> like triple world effect. He's gonna find here down here and cancel. Stops at once. Here will be forced to TP. Well, Prime Aurora actually got here. Didn't see Nero coming up there. Ah, fresh blink. 
I mean, he's been getting quietly pretty far in this game, too, honestly. He's kept up very well. And his utility is obnoxious. This is almost a 4,000 HP Beastmaster with Halberd, Crimson, and Otis. Very good utility items for his team when you're looking at two range right clickers and a Doombreaker. That was a very important kill to get because you're trying to fight for this Roshan that hopefully will go better than it did last time getting three man blind stunned in the pit. Yeah, hopefully this time they. Uh... They're gonna buy back Fuhrer. Vision now gets some heroes out. Ramses, Lincolns, and then the spell shield. Really hard to get the opening on this AM with a build like this. That's where this itemization becomes ever so important. Does it win you this Roche fight? Does it not? Especially with Roche going. Down to the other side of the map, Nine Pandas have gate advantage. They're going to use it here. Ramsey's going to TP in. They're all gone. They got that Doom buyback for nothing. Luckily, his bot's TP cooldown is 25 seconds, so it is straight back to bottom. If you're an instant smoke, you just got to get on top of Sniper. There's no way around it. I feel like the pit is a pretty good area to do that, though. Oh, look at this charge on the single trap what? down here. He got two Yotaka is at the front line like that. He gets hit by the charge first. No buyback available there. Nine pandas positioning around Roshan Pit is a little suspect, Avery. Radiance Courier I has mean, been killed. I agree you should be dewarding this, but what are the chances that a single trap that exists on this Radiant Pit spots a hero that Toronto can, can charge off of that isn't like a Lincoln Sphere hero? And then that charge ends up hitting two of your cores through the tree. I don't think it matters, honestly. No. Because of the position of Sniper, they would have smoked on top of him first in the first place. He was literally to the far left with their playing against Radiant. Stuff. I mean, I do agree. The positioning was sus. The positioning <laughs> was definitely a little sus. Like, the charge just was, like, a little bit fortuitous, but, like, they would have run into him anyway. I cannot understand, like, being there to fight. I agree. Nine Pandas, they should have been expecting this move. Maybe just feeling like that boom wouldn't be able to get down there that fast, but... I, I guess so. I mean, that's just a game of chicken you did not win. No. No, you did not. This is, uh, honestly, I, you know, after that, Kiyotaka has super impressed me throughout this year. I think he's been a great addition to this team, but I do think that uh, this is probably the worst game I've seen from him. He's having it's been a very clunky. One. I wouldn't say it's the worst. I definitely, you know, he's had some rough ones, but I mean, not every game is going to be a, a free game. We expect from the man as Pure will jump in again, but pretty fast. He will try to him going in. Underneath the tier fours, your very decisive movements. Nice use of concussive grenade and a blink backwards. Kyutaka playing the distance against Toronto Tokyo. Now Miro is going to try and strike as they back away through the tier three. Mystic Flair, the assassination, it's coming through and it'll finish him off. And that's a good pick off. Solo with the impetus damage. Boy, their high ground is obnoxious. That is Negative Scepter, AM, impetus damage, axes, sniper. How do you end this game? You just gotta jump the sniper. Somehow find him. He's so hard to find. And that was with Ramsey's dead there. So didn't get anything off that AM death. Still have Cheese and Aegis up too, and you aren't comfortable pushing. Which point is it gonna be comfortable pushing? Or are you just waiting for the slip up and you're super happy with this game going ultra late? As the smoke comes out from nine pandas here. A lot of gold on Ramsey's. I don't look for it anyway, finding our game room. I mean, these aggressive smokes are probably the hardest part of the game for Nine Pandas because it exposes your sniper. I mean, they're super If they backfire, you just lose the game. If Kiyotaka dies here, you might just lose the game straight up. He's showing mid. He does have Lincoln Sphere, so he's, he knows he's not getting charged. It's an interesting play. They're trying to show mid, bait someone to keep on bottom, but jungle's already been cleared due to the farm efficiency. And they are looking towards that Doomags, and that is going to create a very different scenario here where those Lincolns do not do anything for you anymore. And the second Fury is on top of Kiyotaka. He just needs help, and he needs it fast. She also mentioned that Toronto Tokyo finished an Ags and ate it. Oh, really? It wasn't from like Roshan? I don't. I think it was the Roshan eggs. Because it was right inside Rosh, I just don't remember. I guess it should be. Rosh. I feel like I saw it in his inventory for a bit, but maybe he was just like holding on. I mean, either way, I guess he was just holding it. 
Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to buy all that, but he is very farmed off of that Ags eat, and that just means one less. Like, literally the entire team can play forward, and Toronto Tokyo can just clean up the waves. Which also means he's going to get even more fun, so he's going to become like a uh, fourth core in this game. I mean, honestly, I, the reason I'm surprised is I'm surprised they gave it to him, but... Who do you I think it would have been better on? I mean, I think the two mags is better here, but I guess they feel like Pure is going to get it no matter what. Yeah, I mean, he's printing money with an yes. Octarine Midas, so... I think there is some value in the TA axe. Either way, they will force the fight. They did not find Trying to get on top Yutaka, of the sniper, though. force snap away. Kiyotaka gets the distance away from Pure, and the Lincolns managed to block one of the Dooms. So Pure, oh, his initiation not working, and Nightfall in too deep. He's going to be able to blink so away. difficult to gap close Kiyotaka right now. Yeah. If you don't find the Doom, like, he's gone. And the problem is, Pure has nothing to break that Lincolns. That's why he needs his axe. You just yeah. can't jump him and remove the Hurricane Pike, remove... That can cost a grenade, the blink dagger as well. Three versions to recreate the gap here for Kiyotaka. He used them all, and you just get nothing out of it. The high ground continues to be impenetrable. Oh, mighty money. Though, are nine pandas getting anywhere, I guess, is another question. They got to a Ramsey Scotty. They did. Haunted for that over the BKB. I mean, he, he looks very scary. You know, if I look at this inventory, I'm like, oh my. God, it's terrible. Yeah, he just doesn't have an MPB to deal with the butterfly on Morphling. That, kind of, I mean, he kind of wants MPB in Abyssal here. Yeah, it's, it's like going to be hard to transition because nice. what items does he give up, right? Probably Battle Fury at some point. Battle Fury's not Maybe that good in the, in the Ultra Late. Defusal probably goes as well. Here. Smoke at a break. Oh, him. Yeah, there are. They see he's all alone. They had that high ground board, so they're fairly confident that even if he wasn't alone, they would at least have the vision of the incoming heroes. And that is a dieback. Two minutes. Yeah, he has no buy gold or cooldown. He was buying out his Ags and did not get there. Already bought the rescue needed as well. He needs the slot. This is a large window for Nine Pandas to maybe try and force it if they feel like he doesn't have that buy. That's a hard thing to know when it's a Doombringer, but... Yeah, you have buys on all of your heroes. You may as well try and take the action outside of Kiyotaku. He still has to play a little careful as he fought out for Scotty, and he got They're pinged on mid. Down. Oh, oh no. You're in the wrong part of the map. Yep, yep, they're gonna give up uh, their tier three and maybe a barracks in order to get this Kiyotaka sniper again. 1,300 damage crit. That's well worth it. He does not buy, he's out for 90 rams. They're immediately gonna jump the heroes as they TP in. A bold move doesn't quite pay off though. DKB from Toronto, Tokyo, turns around, charge, gets from Ward, but easily gets rid of that with the status resistance. The GPK trying to hold strong, but these illusions are annoying him. This is becoming a problem. Not so straightforward to deal with him when you don't have the Doom and Nightfall oh, there's the crit. Sniper, got the vision with the Shrapnel, that's where the charge comes through. Gonna be able to catch Antares next. The Toronto Tokyo does get burned oh by the Mana Boy, but Ramsey taking so much damage! The that's physical crit, damage man. is overwhelming from these two of Nightfall and GPK. They have stunned for Samiro, Sage almost catches Antares too, which would have been the final blow. Nine Pandas almost get team wiped. He died in two seconds. Like, I mean, that literally, <laughs> Ramsey's died in two seconds here to 3,700 physical damage. <laughs> they all tipped Spear. I wonder if he's like, yeah, yeah I got it, guys. I baited them to uh, yeah, push hard. You're, you're welcome for that team fight. <laughs> it wouldn't happen without me. Yeah, you don't, have, you don't have to worry about their high ground defense if they go high ground against you. I mean, this is the problem with the itemization for Ramses. In the actual man fight where he's sitting there trying to fight the, the Morphine and the TA, it's, it's not close, right? Sure. He does not have the evasion advantage, he does not have the pierce advantage, and he gets broken, and then you're just getting critted down by Daedalus and Silver Edge here. That is a rough way to go. It'll force the anti mage buyback pretty early here as he joins Kiyotaka for the base defense. How much do you ever want to push this? That Ags is done up here, by the way. That is AoE Doom that also breaks. Very spooky. Double kill. That's right, save needs two. One so we can see the enemy wards, and the other so we can see whether or not the 
might is good. The GBK has bought a shadow in the Yeah, that was a bad one. Dyer's curry has been I had to think about that one. There goes that courier, which was what, for the butterfly? It was indeed, yeah. It's, that's going to be a hard butterfly to get. He's going to have to go and sell something somewhere. Well, he's got a little bit of time. Not much, though. Roshan is going to spawn in five seconds. Man, Toronto Tokyo is closing in on 25. He's had a very nice game here. Very fat, very high level. Very hard for Nine Pants to deal with him to fight him. He's going to have to commit a roar on him. That's what it feels like here. And this is not the guy you want to be roaring. There is a hex up on Miro. He does have the roar cooldown talent. So if you can get a roar into a hex into another roar, that's probably like the win condition in the fights for Nine Pandas with both their cores hitting whoever Miro's controlling here. That has to all line up. And then you feel good. Start breaking some mines with the boars. Clear out this area. Want to be on an even, even playing field for this Roshan. That's another issue. You don't have gem or sentries on Nine Panda's side right now, and those traps really messed up their team fights earlier, providing the vision for the charges. In fact, the entire game, that combo has just been devastating for Ramses as a whole. Yeah. And now it's this team that is paying the price as the Lincolns get up, and we'll have a quick pause for some headset trouble. Uh oh. Time to strategize. How do you want to take this uh, Roshan fight? Well. <laughs> yes? <laughs> well? No, you want to take it well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want to take You actually it got well. baited by that. <laughs> I thought you were saying well. I like, thought you were in on the you joke. Elaborate? No. Wow, that worked out way better than I thought. I got so much more value out of that stupid joke than I thought I would. <laughs> You're stupid. All right. Can you actually tell me how you want to take this team? Hey, fight? man, don't hate the player, hate the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't make the rules. I, I, I didn't put myself here. Okay? You you're did the one, put yourself you're here. You're the one who begged me to cast with you. That is not true. <laughs> that is very true for the audience at home. He was on his knees. They please do not make me work with Kyle any longer. <laughs> I br I'm going to end up in the asylum. <laughs> uh, that's not what happened. That one. All right, one side is going to take the Tormentor. The other side is maybe going to take Roche. Yeah, so nine pandas. I, I kind of agree with this, just because their high ground is so good. And I think going outside of their high ground is pretty rough. That fight is very difficult to interpret the inside when you have five acts, and your sniper is going to get exposed at some point in time, and then yeah. the game just is over. So I don't think there was another option here. That'll be Hags to GPK on the Templar Assassin, so now he can just jump around the map. He is an absolute beast at this point. Yo, when are we going to see a Wheel of Cheese in these late games? Never. Nobody cares about the Wheel of Cheese. Okay, what if uh, but Couriers... But you care about Techies level 25. Big right click's coming in. Damn. Is he building for it? He is going MKB on save. Nice. So those are going to be some big 500 damage Techies right clicks that pierce evasion. That's what I'm talking about. You That's know what pretty I'm sick. That's what I'm talking about. Bomb man becomes the artillery man. Is this talent actually better than that? I like it. Uh, I think... It is always better to do the mine talent unless you actually have so much gold that you can start changing your build into a right click. Build. Even then, I feel like it's tough. I feel like it is very rare that you deal more damage to right clicks with Texas in a late game team fight than you would do by just instant rocking gold. Yeah, because it, it means you're literally just not using glass. Like yes. If you're right clicking, it means you're giving up a stun, which is really weird. Because if you use blast off, then you're using mines, and if you're using mines, you want to be using the other mines. Uh, the other I don't know. I just if I feel myself playing technically like I feel like I'm just taking the mine talent, and playing over my utility, and going in and stunning and reducing the magic resistance and all of this, and tasering people, right? Like, I agree. I agree. I mean, the I, I still leave open the possibility of like if you're going to get a six slotted techies with right click item stuff, like okay, then that talent is worth sure, it. But, but then I think that probably means you're 
probably not getting all of that until you're level 30. So what was the point? Game got really weird too. Smoke up across the other side of the map hole. Nightfall baits bottom. What are they doing here? Are they searching for a hero that's farming? What for the AMs winning the map? Okay. Ramses doesn't have buy, so he's just playing ultra conservative, and he's basically six slotted at this point. <laughs> he did finish up that butterfly, sold the battle fury for it. His last item here will be that disperser. That boom really don't want to go high ground without an advantage. No, for his advantage. It is the sniper effect. He's almost level 25 as well. So he gets another extra attack range here. Plus one's nine trappers, which is pretty high. Cover the whole battle. I don't think we turned down faster, but it's possible. Nine trappers is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Your talk is pretty cool, dude. Oh, maybe they'll find Ramses. I mean, this is like a game ender if they find him. He skirts away just in time. Ah, uh, finally. The MKB. Yep, that boom have hit their late game time with it. Fun King Bar on the techies here. This was the plan all along. Finally save Bounce and Farm on the map to get there. Honestly, 190 ECS for the techies, pretty low. Uh, I would have expected him to have been in the five or 600 range here. But he is just been very full of force. He has to from the save. But, whoa! Tokyo, he finds something else. Yeah, he just wants to go straight for Kiyotaka when he spots him. Not good enough, though. They do manage to get the AoE Doom out. I know a couple here. Does he take on a Ramsey? Sticks on the Enchantress. Blows up oh. Hero next. They get two. Not two heroes with I'll buy that. And the sniper carry this fight. Where's the damage? I mean, they, this, they have all these links. Is this all you down. have? Yeah, it is. Because of the, the, the fact that they have to go Blink Dagger, they have to go Lincoln, so you need a Hurricane Pike. Your Sniper really doesn't do that much damage. That was incredibly That's underwhelming. Cool. They're going to go in again as Nightfall finally overextended. Apparently yeah, not. He, he just refresh your Shiva's. Go for the Doom. Laying into Kiyotaka, staying in front of him, hits him with a Minotaur stun. They only have the stun from the blast off on Solo. The sniper kill is still possible though. They dive him right next to the fountain, they get him. But a buyback, now he's on the fountain, a mana boy to be able to stop here from TPing away. They're gonna chase after him now with Nightfall. L running low on time, running low on mana and health, will lose his first life. He has no BKB when he comes up. This is a guaranteed kill with the silence. Never mind, he has Manta in the charge. Silence, Manta, charge yeah, back in, hits the sniper, GPK, pounces forward, goes for a He's not quite enough damage. Toronto Tokyo swings, not good enough. Oh, that connection. The heal comes through. What a beautiful blast, though, though, with a waveform over the top. Then it's off one of those heroes, very but they deep. still have the high ground defense. You are very deep. This is sniper territory. The fountain is not yours to claim. Not yet, Ben Boom. No fear coming back. Did not get the blink off Ramsey's. Ramsey's trying to kill the creep in time. Didn't make it. Throws the mana void out before he dies. That's a dieback for him. Yes, dieback in 20 seconds. Is the base going to last that long? I mean, what a sacrifice, though. He died to try and stop here getting back on top of the sniper, either through the creep kill or the blink. He will have that buyback in 12, so nine pandas are going to get one more fight here. They are, but it's going to be Megas. A very tough position, and especially with your base getting ripped apart here. You don't have to lift. Here comes that charge. That's a grenade. They're going to go for the Enchantress instead. Well, the uh, Doom is stunned. Back. Ramses goes for the BKB be on the Doom. And now he's going to be doomed up. Yes. It's over. There's too many Dooms. I don't even know how many Dooms came out. I think that was three Dooms. There were so many Dooms, he was killing the Couriers. They were outside the fountain. He was just <laughs> melting them in the AoE. He got like three Courier kills in that fight. I didn't know Doom killed Couriers. And